Homeland Security Advisor Elizabeth Sherwood Randall says right now, there is not a supply shortage of gas following a ransomware attack on Colonial Pipelines, which disrupted the flow of nearly half the gasoline and jet fuel supplies to the East Coast. People are reporting long lines and high prices as some rush to buy gas in response to the pipeline hack. Colonial Pipelines says it hopes to substantially restore operational service by the end of the week. This gas shortage hysteria across the South is a good time to educated people on where your gas comes from. All of us that live in the South received our oil from our own shores and it is processed in Mississippi, Texas, Georgia, Florida, or Virginia. Any gas shortage is fair. A gas shortage would not be because of supply or government issues. The shortage is in qualified truck drivers. Too few drivers means that the supply cannot get to the gas stations to be sold to customers. Long lines at gas stations formed almost immediately after Fried's video was released. Within hours of a video released by Florida Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Fried in which she urged Floridians not to panic, form long lines and hoard gas, Floridians panicked, began forming long lines and started hoarding gas. By late Monday, most gas stations up and down Thomasville Road ran completely out of fuel, forcing drivers to expand their search to stations further from residential areas.